Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Jen here. Today I'm bringing you a video a little bit different to what I usually do, but that's because I'm traveling to Portugal! In literally like two days. So, two, three days. Yeah. So, I thought I'd bring you a pack with me video so then I can actually get myself organized and pack and you guys can come along and I hope that I'm able to give you some tips and tricks to anyone that's also traveling out there I know a few friends of mine that are also traveling so if this can be helpful to you then that'll be great but before we get started get yourself a drink have a cold drink probably a cold drink I mean right now it's pretty sunny and warm here in the UK so you can grab yourself whatever drink you like and snacks and get comfortable and let's jump right in so first things first, when you're going on holiday and you're packing, I personally find that you need to have a plan. Like, I think that's like the main things. You need to have a plan. You can't just get any clothes from your wardrobe and just chuck it on because otherwise you won't actually know how to mix and match them when you get to your destination. So what I personally find that's best is to either write it out, write out everything that you want to bring. I normally do this, but this time, because I had sort of like enough time to take things out and plan it, because I recently got a new job, so I'm basically wearing the same sort of clothes, so I could just easily pick out everything that I want to take on holiday with me. Plus, these are things that are pretty like appropriate for hot weather, so right now it's hot, but it's not like scorching hot like you'd have in a holiday. So I was able to pick out everything that I wanted and then just sort of plan it out like that and then plan outfits. What I find best as well, and this is something I did and I normally do, is plan it out, plan out every outfit that you want, wear it, like literally put it on, take a picture of all of them. You're gonna find that so easy. And then when you get to your holiday and you don't know what to wear, just literally scroll through your phone and then check all the pictures that you've taken and then you realize, oh, I wanna wear this one because you can see it right there. So you're not gonna get confused and that saves time as well. So you can enjoy a holiday. The first things first, I got my clothes all laid out here for you. And I'm going on holiday for about, I wanna say five days. It's kind of like four days and a bit because we've got like, on the last day, we've got the whole day. And then in the evening is when we come back home. So for the first day, I've planned out just some basic leather shorts. You've probably seen this if you watch like my Primark haul, but I'm gonna pair this with, I think it's easier if I just showed you my airport look. So my airport look is gonna be this sort of like sheer top and then underneath it, I've got a rib tank top and then I'm just gonna pair all of these with these floaty pair of trousers from H&M as well. So this is gonna be my airport one. And then when I get there, I'm just gonna take this off because I'm pretty sure the duration of the flight is like two hours or something. So not long, so I'll take this off and then I'll pair it with these shorts and I'll probably put like a brown belt with it as well. I'll insert pictures if this comes out after the holiday, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. So that's my outfit for the day. And this is what I did as well. Might be a little bit extra, but I really wanted to just have a day outfit, a night outfit, and then just sort of like extra things. So like, you know, the bikinis and like bikini cover-ups as well. So I found that that would be easier because sometimes I personally can't just find outfits that would work for the day and the evening. Plus you'd probably want to get home, freshen up, you know, just get dressed for the evening. So it's completely different. I don't know if the weather would be a bit colder some nights. So I got a few clothes for that, as well as the ones that I could wear if it's hot. So for my evening, oh gosh, everything's falling apart here. So for the evening, I've got these beautiful flare trousers in this coral sort of color with this black top. And I think this would go really nice together and perfect outfit. Um, for the evening with a pair of heels. That's it for day one. I'll try and talk through these pretty quickly, otherwise I'm gonna be here forever and you wanna probably get some tips on how to actually get in the suitcase, that makes sense. So for day two, I've got this purple flowery top with some basic denim shorts, and then that'll be my day outfit and I think that'll be quite cute. 
Then in the evening, I'm packing two dresses because one, I'm super indecisive when it actually gets to the holiday. And two, this one is made out of a material that's kind of like more appropriate for cold weather. Not too cold, of course, because it is a dress at the end of the day. But this one, I'd wear it if it's a little bit chilly. And then this one is sort of like a very like summery one that I might even wear this during the day at some point if I don't get to wear it in the evening. But I thought these would be two good options that I could take. And they fold up pretty small as well. So it's not like it's gonna take a lot of space in my suitcase. And for day three, I have got this play suit, this red play suit with yellow flowers. And then I'm gonna be wearing this one during the day and another play suit, but for the evening. So this white, sort of not really white, it's more like a cream play suit, ties right here in the middle and this with a pair of heels for the evening, I think will be really nice. Then for day four, I've got just some simple biker shorts and then a very crinkled shirt, <laughs> a striped shirt. And I think I'll just pair these together just to make sort of like a casual look. I might pair these with the denim jeans or, I keep saying denim jeans. <laughs> I might pair these with the denim shorts or the leather shorts. Either way, it's a very versatile piece that I can wear during the day as well. Then for the evening on day four, I'm gonna be wearing this dress. So this red polka dot dress, it's a wrap dress. So you just wrap it around, duh. And then, yeah, a pair of heels as well again, maybe like a black pair of heels and curly hair. I think it would be quite nice and very summery as well. Then for day five, right, day five. So we've got the daytime one, which is this white bodysuit and then these burgundy shorts. I think they'll go nicely together. But because I don't think we'll get an evening on day five, so I'm taking this dress just in case. I don't like any of the others, if that makes sense. So I'm taking this as a spare one, just in case I don't wanna wear like the red one if it's too much on the day or if I don't wanna wear this play suit, then I can just wear this one. Or even if it's like a chilly day, I can wear this dress with a pair of tights as well, and then that won't be too cold. Then, if it's, this is also again, if it's a cold day that we're not prepared for. I don't think it will be. The weather forecast says that it's gonna be like 23 degrees, I think, or 25, one of those. Either way, it's gonna be warm. So I'm gonna take these, and then a pair of white jeans, and I think these will go well together as well. Or if I don't want to wear this, like if it's not actually cold, then I can wear these and I'll put like a, a brown belt on these jeans as well. And I think that would be a nice outfit for the evening or even for like the airport look on the way back. Then here I've got two spare tops just in case, you know, sometimes you might spill something on your top. So I'm taking two spare ones. This one is very, it's basically the same but different color and yeah, I'm taking these just in case. So this is everything I'm taking for like main clothes, like outfits, like planned outfits. The rest will be either bikinis, sleepwear, one active wear set and like bikini cover-ups as well. So I'm gonna be packing that. So I'm not really gonna show you like these ones because it depends to just like sleepwear. No, it's whatever you have really because no one's really gonna see that apart from yourself really so I just thought I'd show you these ones because this could give you outfit ideas as well oh I nearly forgot to say again because I get too scared if it's going to be cold because I hate being too cold but I also hate being too hot but I thought I'm going to take some extra layers just in case so I'm taking a leather jacket just a plain cream I mean not very plain but you know a cream leather jacket and then just a plain white hoodie just in case it gets a little bit chilly in the evenings or anything like that, I wanna be prepared. So now let's move on to actually putting things in the suitcase. So as you can see, I've got all of these for me to put in the suitcase. So I've got bras, belts, tights, bags. Then I got all my bikini cover-ups. Then I've got all my bikinis. And then I've got a beach towel over there. And then my makeup bag. And then sort of like, you know, lady bag, if that makes sense. You girls will understand. And then curlers. Got all my shoes on the floor as well. So I've got a pair of trainers, just so you know, for walks. And then I've got two pair of heels and then two pair of sandals. 
for like sliders really. So even when it comes to your makeup, I think you should also plan it out exactly in the order that you'd wear it. So let's say you start with your primer, then your foundation, then your concealer. Put it in order with the makeup brush that you use so that you don't forget anything. This is exactly what I've done here. And then I just put it all in a bag. So I'm gonna try and fit everything in all the clothes that you've just seen in this suitcase. So let's just start. So I don't know if you can see, but you know where you've got the sort of hard bit where you pull the... I'm very good at explaining, can you tell? So I'm gonna put like the thick clothes at the bottom so that you're kind of working with what you got. So you're really just maximizing your space here. Not the mess if you see the reflection of it in the mirror. I've been trying to pack guys, you know how it gets. It gets a bit too messy and out of control, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna tidy it later, so bear with me. <laughs> so now I'm gonna try and pack everything in here. And what I like to do whenever I'm traveling, I like to just roll the clothes. I think that's like a very common thing that people tend to do. I just roll them up because I think I can fit a lot of things in here if I do it that way. And it gets really tidy as well. So this is what the clothes side looked like and I tried to just fit them in, fold them to the best of my abilities and try and fit them but you just sort of have a go at playing with them and seeing what works best and can squeeze them and just try and make them fit nicely and that's what I did here. Overall it doesn't look the absolute best but as long as it's sort of tidy I think that's what matters. forgot to show you guys I've got a beach bag as well I think if you're I personally think if you're going somewhere that has a beach this will be very helpful get yourself a beach bag so that this one has a lot of space in it take all this stuff out as you can see this one has a lot of room in it so i'll put this beach towel in it with one bikini cover up maybe a spare bikini a change of clothes deodorant sunscreen you name it all your essentials will fit right here and this one has a zip as well which i think is important a lot of beach bags don't have zips so that ends up being a little bit like you're you might lose some of your things i get a bit scared of that anyway so Got myself one like this and I don't know where to put the towel in there or not. Let me see. Because then I have to pack it anyway, so I might as well just try and fit it like this. Perfect. I think that's good. I can even fit something on the side. Right, so let me show you now my little bag. I haven't filled these yet, but I will soon. I recommend just buying, I recommend just buying reusable bottles that you can just fill up with shampoo. So you can see I put shampoo on there. It comes with like different labels. You can find these on like Amazon or eBay um, in conditioner. So I'll fill these up. Some of these are already like in sort of like miniature bat bottles. Because I'm taking like a checked luggage, don't really need to worry that much about the 100 meter rule. Because if it's going in your checked luggage, it doesn't matter too much. But if it's going in your hand luggage, then you need to stick to the rules. I think, don't quote me on this, I think if you've got a checked luggage, you can take up to three liters. I think that's what it is. So yeah, I'm not going to put this in just yet because I need to fill these up still. But in this bag, I've got a body spray. Got some skincare bits, so like my serum. The shampoo and conditioner will go in here. I've got perfume. 
got shower gel and then I'm going to fill this up for my cleanser as well. So this is it. And then later on, I'm going to put my sunscreen because I ordered a new sunscreen. So I'm going to put that in once it arrives. And I also ordered another moisturizer for my face. Now, guys, when it comes to shoes, I think you should always take them in bags. Either it'll be like cloth bags or plastic bags. I don't know. I personally use sheen bags. So these come in handy if you order from sheen because then these bags are like Ziploc bags, so you can literally, well I just closed it, you can literally pop your shoes in there and then you're not getting your clothes dirty or if you've got like mud on your shoes, that would be fine. So I got quite a few, so you literally just pop your shoes in there and that's it everybody, you just close it and then sort of make it tidy and that's it you can just put that in your suitcase and then tidy however you want as for my bikinis i'll quickly show you which ones i'm taking so here you can see my bikini cover-ups so i've got this white one and i've got one that sort of covers just the bottom part and then I've got this flowery one and another flowery one, it's a bit different. And then I've got like a black one that's more like a top. And then I've got all these different bikinis, all the colours that you can imagine. I mean, not all of them. Maybe it's a little bit extra to take as many, but I know how I am. And I'll probably get to the place and just think, oh my gosh, I don't want to wear any of these. So I might as well just take a few options. <laughs> you don't have to take as many. If you know that if you're your absolute favourites, then you can just take them. These are pretty much my favourites, but, you know, sometimes you just want to, like, wear a different one every time you go to the pool. And, you know, that could be quite a lot of times, so I just thought I'd take a few of them. So here I've got a little cosy as well. So majority are bikinis, but got a costume as well. So the bikinis come in sort of like, so I got a few bikinis from Sheen as well. They come in sort of like this bag, which is quite small and cute, but because I've got so many bikinis, I think I want to put them in these. And why you might think I'm putting them in plastic bags? It's because one, I got a spare ones, and if let's say you didn't have enough time to dry your bikinis, it's good to just put them in a plastic bag because then you're not getting your overclothes wet, that makes sense. I hope this is gonna close. I'm not sure if it's gonna shut, but you know. Then later on, I'm gonna put my cosmetic bags here. And that should be everything, guys. So that's all I'm taking in my checked luggage. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm taking in my hand luggage. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna pack in my hand luggage. I forgot to show you, I packed my sleepwear as well as like 10 pairs of underwear and then 4 pairs of socks and you would have seen that I packed 3 bras as well. So now I'm going to show you, if you've watched my Amazon haul you would have seen that I talked about this bag and it's very useful to go on holiday with so I'm going to be putting everything in here. So whenever I travel I like to take like a scarf, either it's going to be a hot country or a cold one. I always take a scarf just in case, so I put that right at the bottom. If I get cold, it kind of serves as a blanket. And then I will pack my laptop. And then in this bag, I have got all the cables that I can need. So like my phone chargers, my laptop charger, my wireless headphones charger, everything that I could need, I will pack it in this bag. And I 
Then I'll also be packing my iPad and you're probably thinking, why are you taking so many? Because if I need to edit, I will use my laptop because I plan to film it. I'm a bit, I'm still a little bit camera shy in public, but I'm gonna plan to film a little bit and see how it goes. So I'll take my laptop just in case I need to edit anything. And then I take my iPad just for watching. And I always, always like to take like a notepad. So this one is like 2021. And then you just sort of plan yourself around like this. I always take one with me, put that in there. Then I'll take my prescription glasses because I need this if I'm reading or looking at screens as well. Then I pack my wallet with my essentials in. And I pack this, which you're probably thinking, what the heck is that? So in this little pouch, there's like an inflatable um, neck pillow. So I'm going to take that just in case I need it. I know it's not a long journey, but I'm just going to take it just in case. And then if I sleep on the plane, as well as at the hotel, I will take my eye mask, which says airplane mode. Then in this little pocket, I'm just going to put two essential little bits, you know, two tampons. And then I haven't found like a, a seafood bag, but I think I can get these at the airport, but I'll put hand cream, um, lip balm and perfume. There's other few little bits that I still need to add. And like my toothbrush as well, things like that. And I'll put my hay fever and allergy relief tablets. Then I'll put my, wireless headphones in there then some face wipes <laughs> then the bigger one i'll just put some anti back wipes as well i always like to take a change of clothes just in case like well i hope this doesn't happen but um if my check luggage is delayed then i'm not stuck in the same pair of clothes that i arrived in so i'm taking a pair of leggings um just a gray cardigan just in case it's chilly again then it's a gray t-shirt and then so i'm gonna put my airport clothes in this bag as well because before I go on the plane, I'm gonna go to my friend's house because we're all going together. So it's just a big group of friends. And then I'm gonna go to one of their houses and that's why I'm gonna pack my airport clothes because I'm gonna sleep around theirs and then we're gonna go really early the next day. Yeah, then I like to pack spare underwear and socks and then I'm also gonna pack uh, pair of bikinis because you never know you might get there and jump in the pool so now I'm just gonna put everything in here and then I normally leave my power bank in this bag because I can then charge everything through that and that should be everything guys then I'll probably take like a water bottle so I can drink down the plane and that should be everything and then i'll put like a tag on this bag as well with my name just in case and that concludes the video everyone i really hope you enjoyed and i hope this was helpful to anyone that's gonna travel hope i could give you some tips and tricks and this is what i do and there's probably a few things that i'm gonna remember by the time i go so i'll just have to add them in so maybe you should actually have a list so you can take things off and then when you're actually packing from your destination back home you can just take them off as well just in case you forget something at the location so i really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss my next videos and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye